Hello and welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. I'm going to be your host, Nate. So I got, uh, boy, do I got a nice one for you today, I'm telling you. Look, just look at the front end of this one. Now imagine this right in your front yard with the trees and all that. But look at this stonework they got on the door. We'll check that out a little bit more as we get ready to go in. This is called the Lone Star. This is a four bedroom, three bath, 2,400 square foot home. We even got the uh, lighting in the overhang. Trust me, this one is super nice. You got a huge tile shower, a built-in dresser island in your master closet. Now, it sounds super nice, and if you're interested in this home, you can find it at Pratt Homes in Tyler, Texas. Well, yeah, if you haven't seen that one, you got to check that guy out, too. I'll let you know if it's up on the channel already. So now, just before we come in, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this stonework a little closer here. There's some gorgeous stonework. Now, I haven't even mentioned you got a fireplace in here also. So let's uh, head on in. Here is your living room to start with. Great big windows over there. Lots of light. Now it is a nice cloudy day outside today. When I was here on Thursday, it was nice and sunny. Now it's cloudy, attempting to rain, but hey, we're good. Now as we come on around, there is that fireplace I was telling you about and more of that beautiful stonework. Got the electric fireplace. Nice accent lighting right next to your TV. Now you can fit a really big TV in there. Now this does have somewhat of a farmhouse styling to it, but not entirely a farmhouse styling. Because as you can see, the dining room area, so this side of the kitchen. And let me tell you, that table looks pretty small in here. And check out the light fixtures they got in here. All your vents are in the ceiling. Now, we have our microwave oven and our standard oven right here. Some cabinets up above. Soft closed doors. And look at how much counter space you have in this huge wraparound kitchen. You got the LG stainless steel appliances. Now I saw this one in a previous home and I literally thought these were separate doors from the upper ones.
Look at all the cabinet space you have here. We've got drawers above each one of the doors. Yeah, I actually opened one with nothing in it for a change. And check out your backsplash. Once again, that runs all the way around the kitchen here. Big farmhouse sink with a lot of windows above it. Like you're just surrounded by windows in here. We have the big corner cabinet up here, if I can get it to open. And then we have Lazy Susan number one. And then we come with the other corner. We have the same corner cabinet and another Lazy Susan. Got some nice big drawers right next to your stove. Nice flat top stove here and check out that vent hood. Then they went with the brown cabinets in the island. And you've got the updated USB plug. Isn't that a beautiful kitchen? Oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned, you have the LVP flooring, so no seam in your flooring at all. And this great big crown molding up here. So all your kids' rooms are down at this end. Your master bedroom is around the corner here. So this is gonna be bedroom number one. Now this is the only one that does not have a walk-in closet. How about your utility room first? <laughs> so there was your back door. Now, how big a freezer do you think you need to fill that? That is a huge freezer space. Attic access. Of course, we've got the mandatory sink with lots of cabinets and really nice countertops in here also. I believe that is the same as what was in the kitchen. We have our side-by-side -side washer and dryer. And then our furnace and water heater. We're not going to go in that door because that goes into your closet. Yeah, that's access to your master closet. Continuing to the left, back down the hallway, and doing a U-turn into bathroom number one. Great big shower tub combo. Really big windows. Look at the size of them things. And I haven't mentioned, 
These are nine and a half foot ceilings. Big walk-in closet. Right, and bedroom number three. Now this one gives you your own bathroom. So huge windows over there. This one has an even bigger walk-in closet, which we'll take a look at. Now they got a lot of trim supplies in here. But yeah, great big closet. And then we have bathroom number two with the same size counter as in your other bathroom. Nice set of drawers. We'll do it in here. Hello, Raiden. Once again, you've got that great big shower tub combo. So your master bedroom, it's got its own little hallway to come down. So it's not directly off anything here. Not your dining room, not your kitchen, not your living room. And you can see with that king size bed, there is a ton of space in this bedroom. In bedroom so big, you've got three different vents in the ceiling. The other one is right there. Yep, you're getting a peek. Look at that big old tub in there. So might as well go take a look at it, right? That's one of them gigantic two-person soaker tubs. I don't know if you really put two people in there, but it sure looks big enough for two. <laughs> and we've got our linen cabinet here. Once again, these soft closed doors. Yeah, we'll save the closet for the last of the video here because I can't hide this forever right look at that really nice river rock inlay there two shower heads you got the wand over there your rain head and I really love this dark bronze color they use you can kind of see it a little better on this here Then the bench, and I love this color of tiling. And then you've got the river rock down below, and it just looks really good. In our water closet, there's not a lot to show in here. Kind of a narrow one though. And your closet. 
your big master closet. Lots of built-ins here. And you've got shelving on this side. You got the bench to sit down on. Little folding table in here. Got more shelving on this side. Now, I don't know exactly what these are for, but I would assume these are your shoes. A lot more built-ins on this side. As you can see, we've got the tall racks down at that end and your short double racks at this end on both sides. As I said, this comes out into your utility room. So now you, before you go and exit out of the video, you ought to go down there and leave me a comment. What do you think? Of course, what's not to like about this home, right? Let me know in the comment section down below what you liked. While you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Hit the, yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, now we've got to get into some price information on this home. Sorry, uh, this isn't the best quality of the outro here. Uh, using a laptop once again. I'm in my hotel room in Billings. I just got done filming a bunch of homes over at uh, one of the locations here. And I got two more locations I'll be filming at tomorrow. So I'll be looking forward to those. Now we got to get into some price information on this home. So this is a 2,400 square foot home. Now this is located in uh, Tyler, Texas at Pratt Homes. So depending on where you have this home set up and delivered, there could be extra city fees, extra county fees, freight charges, things like that. So we can't always account for everything. Pratt Homes also only gave me a price range for this home so this is a modular and this falls in kind of a farmhouse style but uh, as a modular most of their homes start at around hundred and twenty dollars a square foot and they go up to hundred and sixty dollars a square foot so depending on how you have this home optioned it could be you know up to that hundred and sixty dollars a square foot at 2,400 square foot, you know, that could be kind of spendy. But I will say this is one of their more popular homes. They do sell a lot of them. So it must be priced halfway decent because, you know, they said they move at least one of those a month. So that's uh, quite a few homes. Sorry, I had some dental work done and I got a sharp spot in the back of the tooth there. I had to go back into the dentist and have them file it off. Had some fillings done, and uh, it's got a little sharp spot there. So uh, with that, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.